Hello everybody, welcome to Homeschooling Oils. I am Tina and today we're going to talk all about Dollar Tree. Everybody loves some Dollar Tree, right? So I want to talk to you guys about these writing prompts that they have at Dollar Tree. I have a whole lot of them. Love them, love them, love them for several different reasons. There's a good way for your child to be independent, read a little bit, and also open up for research. Put it in the frame so you can see it. And um, it crosses over various different subjects. From science to literature to landscapes, it just crosses over. They have so many different writing prompts. So basically, these writing prompts um, talks about writing skills, creative thought, and self-expression ability. So if you have a child, you're trying to help them with verbal skills and explaining, expressing themselves. If you have a child that has autism. If you have a child that is just just naturally shy, then I would suggest this for them regardless of what grade level they is. Now, this is geared towards, they say, fourth through sixth. I would say use it with any grade level because you can add on to make it more difficult for higher levels and you can take away some of the information. Um, we'll have them do less activities based on if they're younger than this grade level. So, this one was about landscapes. Some, yeah, these purple ones. And so basically it focuses on different landscapes. So you can actually show the picture, ask them, are they familiar with this picture? Uh, what is it? And do they know? And if they don't, then that's another conversation you have. If they do, then they can elaborate and just hand them the card and let them read this because it's going to tell them exactly what's on the picture. Then from this, it's going to ask them to describe um, Washington's monument and explain why it was built to honor George Washington. Now, I wouldn't do it like this. I would just tell them, hey, explain to me about the monument. I would also ask them to, um, what are your thoughts on it? Find some more information. Research this monument. Research George Washington and tell me your thoughts on why this was built. And is there any side information that we are not taught in the books that we could see that goes along with this? Any journals or anything that builds on this even more so. Then we have the Statue of Liberty. We have the White House. We have all of these different cards. Love it, love it, love it. Some are more longer than others, as you can see. So I want you to see it, how they look. And see how the format is. We already did these, but we're going to do them again because I have noticed you can do certain things with your kids when they're younger. And then once they get a little older, they even have a different perspective on it. Now, this is the one that I really, really like for the simple fact that it's covering more than one topic at a time. You're doing science, then you're doing reading, then you're doing vocabulary work. So it's helping them with that, too. And it's going to branch off into geography, especially when we was doing our African um, country study and we still are doing Africa we have been doing Africa for a couple years because Africa is huge gigantic just doing South Africa can take you easily a year or two to get through it depends on how deep you go into the subject and that's not even including the vastness of Africa like I had no idea that it was so big, so deep. It's actually, Africa is bigger, way, way larger than the United States and most countries. The map that we actually see uh, is not uh, correct. So if yeah, you don't have to believe me, go Google it, look it up. You will see how Africa is one of the largest continents of the world. And on the map, it looks really, really teeny, teeny, tiny, but it's really large. So we, I don't even know if we're going to be able to complete everything, but we're working on it. <laughs> um, and then we actually combine other little cultures and everything as well when we go through it. So very, very interesting to say the least when you dig into how uh, the real, the map that we see versus how it actually the population, how large it really is, and sometimes the um, the what the maps that we see does not really depict the place on the map in in relative to size, ge geography, and all that other good stuff. You you just look it up because I was surprised at how the population, how large the geomer, the, 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 the how big the the surface of Africa is all the different things and also Greenland 
uh, I think it was Ireland, which look it up. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. So anyway, as you know, I'm about to get onto a tan about to get onto a tangent about all of these different places that are shown very, very small on our world map. And then when you look it up, you're like, whoa, that place is like three, four times bigger than the United States. <laughs> And that's not the only place. Africa is not the only place that's large like that. It's, it's quite a bit. So just look it up. Make for a great geography experiment. Great conversation. So see how this amazing is. You can actually build your entire curriculum just with these amazing. And I have it upside down. <laughs> but these amazing little writing prompts love it love it love it and the pictures are amazing and then you have the sea and you have sharks and you have the information and stuff like that i have more because some of these have been gifted to, gifted to me and i also bought some as well so love it love it love it we use these quite often we're going to continue to use it because it makes for some great conversation and great research and it's fun very little planning necessary for this. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check it out at your local Dollar Tree. They, these are not all the ones they have. We even have one that just literature based that we add onto our literature. That makes you think about literary analysis and writing and all that good stuff. And it's at your Dollar Tree for a dollar. So don't break the bank. Don't break the bank. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.